Hi YouTube. So it's the High Class 26 here again. Um, I came to give a detailed description of my hair journey. Um, so stay tuned. So um, basically, um, I'm going to start, although I'm going to go all the way back. So um, when I was a child, my mother, she always braided our hair. She always had it laid. It was always nice. Um, <clears throat> I was always in some type of braids or something because she was, she had four children. So she was like, and nobody, and nobody got time for that. So she, um, decided to, you know, do something that was easy. That was simple. Um, because she still was working as well. Um, so basically we always had our hair done and everything. So she finally got tired of doing, oh, and before that, um, she's always made it a point to make our hair natural. The perm issue, I've never, I've never even, I don't remember even seeing perms when I was younger. So that wasn't an issue. I never asked her, could I have a perm or any of that? But even if I did, she was a natural mother. So there was no, were no perms. Um, but, um, basically fast forward when she, um, learned you know how to do dreadlocks she decided to do dreadlocks it was so much easier you only had to really do something every month um retighten it or whatever so that's what she would do um so she decided to do that and then um you know our hair was easy but it was looking crazy really crazy disgusting um <clears throat> so yeah <laughs> with that we didn't we didn't take to that uh too well so and then plus you know kids were teasing and stuff we went to white schools um so they didn't really understand it um like we would have liked um so after so much teasing i was devastated and i really wanted to cut my hair um so my mom for some reason was like okay so my grandmother we uh took the whole day to um she sat there and picked out all of my locks so my hair was really short maybe shorter than this um but yeah and in elementary school that's never good because the kids are gonna you know the kids are gonna make fun of you they're gonna say silly things so that's what happened and people were calling me a boy and so i was just really devastated and so my mom ended up putting braids right back into my hair. So after that, um, I had braids for a while, but I was so tender headed. I hated getting braids all the time and stuff like that. I loved how they looked and how, you know, they were so cute on my head and they were so long, but it was just too much for my mother and for me. I hated getting my hair done. So she found out how to do sister locks. So she decided to do sister locks and I didn't want them, but you know, my little sister wanted them. So, um, she got them first. Then I was the last one to get them. Okay. Out of all four children, I was the last one to get them. And, uh, so finally I got them. My mom talked me into it, but I, it was never something that I wanted to do. So I've always kind of been like, mm, I don't like them, but it took three days to do them. And so I've had those from third grade till, um, mm, Till I was so with about eight years old till I was about was it 20 or was it 19 I think it was 19 oh yeah I think I was 19 um because I cut it yeah I it was I was 19 or I just turned 20 actually I'm sorry I just turned 20 um no sorry I just turned 19 anyway um so yeah I turned 19 and my sister my older sister had got hers cut um and hers were always short because she was always dyeing her hair so it was really damaged but she cut it short and she got a perm and her hair was gorgeous okay gorgeous and nobody knew that she was doing it so she just came to church one day and decided to just bust in on everybody looking all hot with her hair out so I was over, I was done. 
because you know I was the only one that was really like oh, I don't want them and all that stuff so then everybody else decided to you know jump on the bandwagon of oh I want to cut my hair now so basically my sister got them done I loved her hair but I never wanted a perm so she she said you know for your birthday I mean nobody did anything and I would like to since I know you want to take your hair down I would like I'll pay for you to cut your hair and them to perm it and do it and I accepted it but I never want like I said I never wanted it to be permed so I said okay I'll do that so as I waited I was it was like a long process so I was like oh, I'll just take it out and figure it out so I had started loading and loading on thousands of YouTube videos you know um, natural hair gurus and all of this stuff and I was just doing hours of research, hours of watching YouTube videos and just seeing what other people do, seeing different textures of hair, but I still knew nothing. I didn't research like I should have. I was just watching videos on how to do hairstyles. So um, I I, it finally came time for me to take down my hair and it took me seven whole days. Um, my hair was down my back, like past bra strap. Um, it was so beautiful. Um, and I picked them out, took seven days, no help, just me. And it ended up to be about right here, but it was so damaged because I picked it out. So I hated it. It wouldn't do any twist outs, nothing, no braid outs, no nothing. It never held anything. And I was like, what is wrong? I was like, maybe this natural hair thing is not for me. So I just decided, I was like, what am I going to do? So I just got braids for this last time. And then I decided, I said, I'm just going to cut it off and be short and just wear a wig until it gets, until I get comfortable um, with my length. So I, I had the braids in for one month, then two months. I think it was almost two months. And I was like, why am I waiting for a barber to do my hair <clears throat> when I can just do it myself? So I woke up one morning, shaved my hair off, which was um, August 9th of 2013, which was five months ago exactly today. And that's why I decided to do it today because it is my five month Big Chop um, anniversary. And I'm so excited about it. Um, my hair has gotten really long in five months. Um, it's probably a little bit past an inch. Very long. I love it. I love my hair. I'm so excited. It's the best decision I've ever made. And um, I'm looking forward to my natural hair journey. So I'm hoping that you will bear with me and um, come along with me on this journey. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and tell your friends. Um, and thank you so much. All right. Bye.